Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you how to install RTX Voice on non-RTX graphics cards like the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. Now I'm not really sure if this works on every card, but um, I can definitely tell you it works on this one for sure. So if you have this card, congrats, um, it will work for you. Now the thing is, when you go to install this, uh, this is what you're going to get for an air. Now everybody else seems to be doing it this way they will open up task manager they'll go into file run new task and they'll open up notepad but they'll do it with administrator options when they do that they go into open and then they go down here to all files and then they load this then what they do is then they remove this code and then they save it the problem is it doesn't work anymore well it didn't work for me so every time when you go to relaunch this it just re-adds it and then you're just gonna end up with the same error again so I'm gonna show you a different way how to do this now I have a full tutorial right here on my website exactly what you got to do um, all the pictures but I'm gonna do it through the video here what we're gonna do is we're going to open this up in 7-zip so you're gonna have to get 7-zip so open archive. So here's all the files that is in the .exe. We're going to add it to another folder here. We'll just drag them all here. All right. Now since that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the folder, this one right here, and we're going to open this in Notepad. Then we're going to move this, remove this constraints, and then we're going to hit Save. You can use Control S as well. Close out of that. Now, we're just going to run the setup right here. It's going to look for this in here, and it's just going to install. And then I'm going to show you how useful this thing can really be. So here it is. It's not perfect, but with the noise coming from my computer, it's definitely worth it. Um, I just care about this part. So I'm going to be doing some tests with the RTX voice. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to it. So now I'm talking through RTX voice. It sounds the exact same, except for... You don't hear nothing other than just my voice. Now let me switch back over and I'll be quiet. Listen to it. There's quite a bit of noise, but I'm going to take this to the extreme. So what I have right in front of me is my Alienware Aurora R4 control center or command center is what they call it. I'm going to rev up my fans and I'm also going to rev up my CPU fan as well. That way you can hear how loud this will get. And then I'm going to switch on the RTX. So let's go ahead and make this thing really annoying. Start with a CPU fan, which is not really that loud. And now these ones here. So as you can hear, that's pretty annoying. So I'm going to switch over to the RTX voice. And as you can tell, I'm just talking normally. And that is still very annoying. And I haven't changed nothing there. As you can see, everything is running at max, uh, including this. And now I'm going to switch back over. Now back to RTX voice. And there's one other thing I want to do. I have this little alarm here that I'm going to start playing as well. It's going off right now. And it's very, very loud. Now I'm going to flip over. Yeah, that's quite ear raping, isn't it? I brought in my shop back. Where's that little alarm here? Let this thing go. Put it underneath my keyboard. There we go. Put the shot back on. Yeah, my mic is falling down. It's a little dirty. Now let's flip over. Now we're on for the X marks here. Please try to call. It is a little dirty. Here we go. 
So I'm going to do a more realistic scenario for at least my room anyways. I got my computer, I can hear the fans on that, I can hear my ceiling fan. And I'm going to just play this through my mic as is with RTX, without RTX first, and I'm going to let you listen to it. Okay, now I'm going to flip this thing over to RTX. All right, now I'm going to amplify this. And now I'm going to let you listen to it. So the next test I'm going to be doing is saying Merlin's uh, intro lines. In a land of myth and a time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young man. So I'm going to repeat that, but I'm going to whisper it uh, without RTX and then with RTX. That way you can hear that it actually kind of screws it up a bit. So it's not perfect, but at least it'll give you an example, right? All right, now I'm going to switch over. In the land of myth, in the time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young man. His name Merlin. Now I'm going to amplify this. There we are. And let you hear it. In the land of myth, in the time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders. As you can tell, it's completely screwed up. So, to make this thing effective, you actually got to talk a little bit louder. You can't whisper. There's No, it just won't work properly if you whisper. But uh, this is in beta. I'm sure they can make it a lot better. And uh, it would be nice if they actually officially release it for um, GTX cards too, as it obviously works. It does a darn good job at what it, what it does. So, um... Yeah, it's something that I'm definitely going to be using now on because, yeah, I got all this annoying sound in my room. Like, seriously, look at this. You see that? That's a lot. And that plays in every single video that I do, especially when I'm doing um, commentary and then I'm trying to stick it over a video and it just sounds really bad. So, yeah, this definitely works and it works quite well. Um, I, it's just... I really wish that they would have officially released it for the GTX. Maybe they still will. Who knows? For now, though, they have it on RTX, and this is uh, just a new tool for all of us to use. So, NVIDIA, if you're watching this, make it available for GTX. Thank you. For everybody else, enjoy it. It's cool.